We all want to travel around the world and explore new places and cultures. However, it's slightly more expensive than we would like it to be. Surely, there must be a way for us to travel without having to worry about spending a ton of money. Welcome back, hustlers, to yet another video of Just Hustle. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Here, we talk about anything and everything related to finances, investments, and hacks that help you live that richy rich life. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can leverage your air miles in the best way possible. Before we get into it, what are air miles? This concept was started around 40 years ago. Anytime you took a flight, you'd earn miles based on how far you traveled, which you could redeem for a free ticket. Some airlines today call them points. These days, you can earn miles or points not just by flying around, but also through your credit card purchases while shopping online. For example, if you shop at Macy's online and pay through your credit card, you could earn points for each dollar spent. The reason they are called points and not just miles anymore is because you can either redeem them to buy a bunch of different things, from buying a blender to even renting a car. However, we have always found that using them as air miles give you the best bang for your buck. That is, unless you really, really need a blender. Here are six great ways you can earn flying miles or points. Number one, airline brand loyalty. Using one airline to fly to wherever you need to go over a period of time is a smarter way to go about it. Sure, ticket prices are always something we consider before booking a ticket, but it's better to have 100,000 miles or points with one airline than 10,000 with several different ones. This is because you are not always allowed to transfer miles on a one-by-one -one ratio between different airlines. Number two, try to get bonus points. Since air miles can also be won through credit cards these days, check which airlines are associated with your credit card. The ones that are co-branded generally issue bonus miles or points. These bonuses can be quite big sometimes and enough to buy you a ticket without you having flown anywhere in the last six months. Make sure to check the terms though. Depending on the credit card, you need to spend a certain amount of money in a certain period of time to get a bonus. Number 3. Airline Partnerships You might not always be able to fly with the same airline. However, airlines generally belong to a network of domestic and international carriers. You could sign up with one of these organizations like SkyTeam, One World, or Star Alliance and become a member. Once you're in, you can earn, combine, and even redeem miles or points from any of the partner airlines. You can check out the list of partners on their website and decide which organization you want to join. Number four, choosing the right credit card. You can either choose a co-branded credit card like we mentioned earlier, or you could choose to use a rewards card. These cards give you all kinds of rewards based on your credit score, number, and type of purchases every month, even air miles. The only difference between the rewards card and the co-branded cards is that the rewards cards give you all sorts of rewards and depending on the type, give you extra points for specific purchases. This sounds great, unless you're a frequent flyer and require air miles more than any other rewards. Number five, airline shopping portals. Many airlines have shopping portals on their websites, which most of us either don't know about or don't bother to check. Well, it's time to start looking into it. Making purchases through certain merchants on the airline's frequent flyers' websites can help earn points from time to time. Airlines obviously encourage any business through them by giving generous discounts. Number 6. Dinner Dates If your credit card is linked to an airline's frequent flyer program, you can link it to their dining program as well. This could help save these points or miles you've earned for so long from expiring. The airlines are affiliated to certain restaurants as well. When you get charged a meal with them, you earn extra points. Now that you know some of the best ways to earn miles, how do you best use them? First, try not waste them on domestic flights that you could easily afford otherwise. Stock them up and save them to fly abroad 
when you're planning a vacation. Use them for domestic flights only in case of an emergency. Air miles could also be used to book specific hotels depending on where you're traveling to. So, if your flight tickets aren't really that expensive, use the miles to get yourself a better, more luxurious day. Make the best of the vacation! That brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button below and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and show us some love. Until next time, hustlers, just hustle.